Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so we have already completed one proper course on prompt vertex, prompt design vertex AI, and today we are starting the new uh, mini module. Uh, we are going to start build real world AI applications with Gemini and Image N, which is a second module in actor skill gen ai exchange program so let's get into it first we'll just start the lab this is a different kind of lab uh, it has 15 minutes this is a very small lab it will look like this when we will start you don't have to open incognito mode it will just make a split screen over here in it uh, below when you when you scroll a bit you will see there's a section called working with vertex ai python as sdx sdk sorry after loading we have to just follow these instructions first we'll have to click on file new file after opening it we just have to copy and paste this code over here then they have uh, asked us to save this so click on file and over you you will find save option in this save option we have to copy this name which is gen ai and in the name section we, we just have to paste it and save it just that's it after doing this it's real simple mm. Now we just have to copy this part. This is the export section. We just have to copy it and paste it in the terminal. Uh, what we are doing here is exporting our basic details, which is our project ID, our location, which we usually get for which uh, these are temporary details which we uh, usually get in a when we start a lab. So just exporting that after that we just have to copy this path paste it over here and run it it will take a few moments after running for the first time if you are running this uh, you might receive something like this which is basically an error and don't need to worry about it they have mentioned it that you might encounter an error so no need to worry we just have to rerun this again again we have to copy the export uh, export uh, google cloud content uh, paste it over here and copy the path and paste it over here mm, sorry sorry i didn't copy it properly okay this is the path now paste run it after running we okay here we'll get an output which shows uh, which is the description of an image here they have uh, mentioned that our uh, image shows still life with blueberry scones arranged on a piece of parchment paper all right uh, you can read this as we don't have much time in this lab i'll just try to explain it as quickly as possible here even they have given a code explanation for you before that we'll just click over here to check our progress yes we got a green deck so what we are doing here we are importing necessary google libraries then we are using gemini 2.0 flash 001 model all right uh, currently gemini has launched google has launched 2.5 but for now in this course we are using this model and okay your score is updated so in this model uh, we have to give two inputs one will be the url of our image the location uh, and also the image type when you are giving the url you also have to mention the type of the image so it is a jpeg image and second is the prompt like you have to uh, ask the question about image so we have asked it like what is shown in this image so that's the question and we have got uh, output over here which is 
the image shows and you can read it properly uh, that here is some basically it is some image of blueberry on a parchment paper mm, I just wrote that from this mm, that was the first module this is really easy and very small modules in this course so I'll try to finish it as quickly as possible and upload the videos as soon as possible we'll just click on end lap and our work is done this was the easiest module again in the next module also there will be a 15 minutes so it will be similar to this and in this course as well we have three basic modules where we'll learn about different things and fourth will be a challenge lab where we have to apply something like we did in previous course that's it guys thank you so much uh, just a reminder if you have completed this and you have got the course badge over here then don't forget to upload it in social media submission you just have to upload it on your linkedin make a linkedin post uh, submit your linkedin post link over here similarly do it on medium blog uh, it is a blogging platform where you have to write a blog about how was your experience about this course and submit that link as well and over here you have to submit the skill badge link for every uh, sorry over here for every course which you have completed you just have to share your skill badge link here is mine so after we will complete this section this course build real world AI applications we will do same over here and there, there are three more courses which we will complete in future so just wanted to remind you guys that we have to do these things as well and don't forget to watch these videos these are interactive sessions where you will learn about these courses which we are doing right now and you will if you watch this live then you will receive some points and if you watch it uh, if you watch this live you will receive 20 points and if you watch the recorded sections uh, recorded videos then you will receive 10 points i guess they have mentioned it over here in the roadmap they have mentioned it properly just read it out and in social media submissions as well you will receive 40 points or something so just have to submit and claim your points uh, after claiming uh, you just have to claim your credits as well there are many procedures over here I have 109 credits which I have already claimed here uh, credit claiming steps they have mentioned how to claim the credit so here are the links of how you can claim skill boost credits how you can uh, submit skill boost perform um, profile after registering everything is here don't need to worry guys uh, because many people are asking me about how to claim the skill boost credits and all so just wanted to clear this thing that here is the section where you can just claim it and here are the links which you will click you will receive the video and you will understand how you can do it if you have any queries you can uh, ask it to google but uh, you just have to do it in 5 to 6 pm slot here these are the hours for monday to friday and for saturday there is 4 to 5 pm there is a google link so here you can ask your queries and resolve them if it is something really complex and you are not getting the solution on youtube or any other uh, social media platform then just try this you might get it so that's it from my side guys thank you so much for following and supporting me keep doing that 
and i'll meet you in the next one thank you so much